Welcome to April's Leco Challenge. Today's problem is minimum operations to make array equal. You have an array of length n where it ri equals 2 times i plus 1. So basically it goes in a pattern of 1, 3, 5, 7, all the odd numbers in order. So for all valid values of um, i being greater than 0 and less than n. So in one operation, you can select two indices, x and y, where x is less than y, and subtract 1 from x and add 1 from y. The goal here is to make all the elements of the array equal, and it is guaranteed that all the elements of the array can be made equal using some operations. Now, given the integer n, the length of the array, we turn the minimum number of operations needed to make all our elements equal. So uh, one of the hints they give you here is to build the array itself using the formula. Um, uh, we can say target is now going to equal the sum of the array divided by the length of the array. So say that we had an example like 1, 3, 5. Uh, we know that we want to get the number 3. If we sum it up, it's going to be 9 divided by 3 is target equals 3, right? And that means we want all these numbers to equal 3. Uh, once we have that, we can just go through our array and calculate the number of operations needed by simply subtracting the target number from the number here. Uh, as long as it's greater than 0, then we can add that to an output. If it's not, if it's like negative, like say we did 3 minus 5 and that's negative 2, we don't have to count those because we've already accounted for those in the beginning here. Uh, okay, so let's start by building our array. Uh, I'm going to use a multiplier here and create an empty array. I'll say 4i in range of n. What we'll do is append to our array the value, and I'm going to increase our multiple value by 2. So once we have our array, we can calculate our sum. I'm just going to call it sum and say sum of the array and target is equal to the sum divided by n. All right, so now that we have a target, we just need to set our output to equal 0 and say 4a in array if the target minus array is greater than 0, then we're going to add this value to our output. So target minus a. Finally, return our output, and that would be it. That would be the straightforward method. Uh, let's see if this works. Oh. So it looks like it's working. Let's go ahead and submit that. And that does get accepted. Now, time complexity-wise, it's O of n, and we also use O of n space for this array. Can we do better than this? Um, and there is some mathematical ways to do this. It's a little bit hard to understand, but say that we had like 3, 5, or you know what? Let's start with using some test cases to kind of see if we notice a pattern here. So if we just ran 1 through 8, do we see a pattern with our answers? Um, and at first, you don't really think so, but you do notice a couple things. When the value is even, we can see that it becomes just a square of that number divided by 2. So here with 2, 2 divided by 1 squared is going to be 1. And this will be 4 divided by 2 squared is 4, 9, 16, so on and so forth. So it's like when the values are even, it's just a square root of the half. And intuitively, it kind of makes sense if we had like even numbers like this. We can see that the number is going to be uh, what here? We, we want to get a value of 4. And we have two operations. To, well, we have 3 here and 1 here. So that's going to equal 4. Uh, so it's like we can take this half here and just multiply it by itself. And that's going to give us the number of operations. Now, when it's even, it's a little bit different because we can't account for the middle one. Uh, so here, we know that we want to get the value of 5. Um, but to do that, basically, we can't just get the half anymore. What we'll have to do is uh, multiply it by half, and then plus 1. And that's going to give us the answer as well. So uh, let me see what I show you. I mean, let's say we first want to see if it's even. And if it's even, it's fairly simple. We just return the n divided by 2 times itself, right? 
can just do it like that. Now, otherwise, if it's odd, we're going to have to return half times, but we have to subtract one here. Oh, no, no, we have to add one here. So let's see if this works. And there we go, that does seem to work. So let's go ahead and submit this. And accept it. So this would be O of 1 time complexity and O of 1 space, probably the most optimal solution. Uh, but it's a little bit hard to get here. It takes some tweaking. And if I'm being honest, I don't fully understand this yet. Um, but it does seem to work. So, okay. Thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.